Hello everybody and welcome back to some Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again and this time we're finally going to head back to the character randomizer and do a bit of randomization and see we get Tainted Isaac which could be an interesting one. Tainted Isaac's always a little bit tricky but it does mean we might get to see some more new items and if we get Birthright with him I'd be very happy so we're going to try and look out for that. Um... <clears throat> Definitely a fun one though. Let's jump in. Excel floor off the bat. Let's try and keep our Devil Deal precedent alive if we can. Uh, we'll see. Ooh, hello. I think we should definitely go for the charm there. Yeah, that worked out fantastically. Okay, let's try and get charm again. Okay. I love rooms like this. The, the, the rooms that look initially very overwhelming and a little bit too challenging. But then if you play them right, they're actually really easy. I like stuff like that. It's cool. Okay, this guy's going to lob his head at me and do that. Oh, God. I'm more scared about the uh, the white fly that this guy's got hovering around. So we already lost our devil deal. I honestly was kind of expecting it. Fiend Folio isn't exactly easy, especially when you don't have any soul hearts available. This guy's the biggest problem for my for, for my uh, my liking. God damn. Yeah, that was that was tricky. Anyways, anyways, as for the question of the day today, what is your favorite work or school story? What is one of your favorite stories from, from school or work? It'd be really interesting to know. For me, I've got definitely quite a few ones from secondary school. I, secondary school for me was was a time that I reminisce about quite a lot. I really enjoyed my secondary school experience. I know some people don't have the same. Some people either have to deal with having a smaller friend group or um, have to deal with bullying, stuff like that. Obviously, that's unfortunate if that's the case. But for myself, I, I, I was quite lucky. Um, I wasn't exactly a popular person. I was definitely in the nerdy group, but... Um, we had quite a lot of people in that group, so I had a good amount of friends that I was hanging around with. I also had, like, a few really sort of out-of-character friends from different circles as well. Um, but one of my favourite classes uh, was always science, uh, mainly because for two reasons. One, our teacher was awesome. Um, he was just one of my favourite teachers that I've ever had throughout school. He was really laid back. I've spoken about him on the channel before. Um, he was a little bit of an alcoholic, but <laughs> I won't hold that against him because uh, he was still a really good teacher regardless. Um, okay, this is this is tricky. Could you guys stop? I might I might utilize the... Um, do you know what? I'm going to take a really big risk here. I'm going to quickly... Ooh, door stop's pretty nice. I'm going to quickly go to my care room and then come back and get that rainbow poop. Um, but yeah, he was really good. He'd he'd basically <laughs> he'd he'd give everyone like nicknames and basically pick on pick on all the students, which sounds really bad. But everyone took it in good faith, and it was it was quite a lot of fun. It, it, it was it kind of made for a, a little bit more of a um, enjoyable relationship between the teacher and us, um, which which I, I really really liked. Um, well, let's let's destroy some of these these poops because they do destroy in one hit. Um, which yeah, I really enjoyed and. One of the moments in his class that I found really funny, uh, one of my friends uh, during school, um, he he was he was probably one of the nerdy ones in our group, but um, he there was a few people in our class specifically that, that, for one, were just not nice people. They were just kind of like the... They weren't even the popular kids. I don't know how to describe them. They just weren't nice people, um, really, at all. I think, I think most people that weren't in their friend group knew that. Most people considered them to not be very nice people. Um... And uh, this one time, so we we had this uh, teacher for our classes for pretty much every single year of school, um, in in our science class at least. We had we had him pretty much every single year, all four years of school, um, which was great because it also meant like we had like a bit more of a built up relationship with him. But it also meant that he kind of knew our friend groups. He knew who liked who and sort of thing. But he also knew what friend groups didn't work well together. So when he created the seating plan for our last year, he kind of knew where everyone should be sitting to get on the best. With like sort of be able to sit with friends without it distracting their work. Some friends got separated because they didn't work well together. Ooh, what the hell we got here? Eternal D12. Switches between two modes um, with two charges. Uh, has a high chance to reroll grid objects and a low chance to wipe all grids uh, away. With one charge, has a low um, chance to reroll grids uh, and high chance to wipe. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. I think we'll definitely go for that, of course. Um, so let's grab that. I do actually really like the D12, so how do we swap between the modes, or is it just, is it just, um, whenever we use it, it swaps to the next mode. We also get Robo Baby 3.0 here, uh, familiar that moves around the route uh, diagonally and changes direction on contact. 
Not very good, but also Hot Wheels isn't either. Although I do like Hot Wheels because it lets you destroy rocks. But it's a little bit better for that reason. Let's let's try this out. Let's try this out. Uh, so first of all, let's just destroy some poops here. I want to quickly just go back to the big room here and do this. And we have created quite a few grid objects here. Basically, my, my thinking with this is, as you can see here, we've got a higher chance of getting golden poops and the like. Uh, I think I'll take that. Yeah, we definitely got a higher chance of getting golden poops and things like that, which I think is going to be quite good. We also got another rainbow poop there, should we need it. <clears throat> it did say it has a chance to delete grid objects as well, so we've got to be aware of that. Okay. No petrified poop so far, sadly. There you go, that's that's pretty decent stuff. Um, Yeah, we'll leave that where it is for now. Okay. Kind of nice. We've still got the XL floor going on here, so we've got a lot more rooms to check out. Look at that. But yeah, but yeah it's, it's, the, the, the car is something I kind of don't utilize very often, but it's actually very good for being able to destroy rocks. I think that's his main use case, really. We have found our shop here, which is kind of what I was looking for. God damn, that animation of him throwing that head is just amazing. So good. The car isn't that good for damage, but it can deal some good damage. It's not like it can. And it does set enemies on fire, as you can see. It's a pretty. It's, it's, it's definitely a pretty good item. I like it. Definitely worthy of quality three. <clears throat> um, I think we're just going to end up buying a soul heart here. <clears throat> not much else to do. Actually, I'll buy that as well. Why not? And we got ourselves an unknown card, which I'll use after the boss fight. See if it gives us a teleport. <clears throat> we shall see. We don't have a secret room um, <clears throat> anywhere that we know of. And we don't have a bomb so we can get to one. So I'm not going to worry about that for now. Hello, sir. You've been set on fire as well. We are. It's, it's nice that you can, like, fire it at angles as well, the car. <clears throat> there you go. We've got Anarchist Cookbook or uh, Jar of Air here. Jar of Air is fantastic. Really good early item to get. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, in this class, so he, he kind of knew where to sit us all. But um, my friend my friend that um, I was talking about, he got sat on a table with these people that, um, that he didn't really like. And like, they they were all on the table together because no one else really liked them because they were their own little clique or whatever. <clears throat> and to be honest, I'm kind of, I was surprised they got sat together because they didn't really work well together. But anyways, <clears throat> they all got sat on the same table. And then my friend got sat on the table with them. <clears throat> One second. Just have to clear my throat real quick. Um, but yeah, my friend got sat on the table with them, which was kind of weird because, like, I think it was pretty well known the teacher should have known that he wasn't friends with them. But I don't know. I guess it just happened that way, unfortunately. Um, but <laughs> when when we got sat there for basically after like the first, I think it was like second day we we're in that class, my friend just stood up and was like, "Excuse me, sir, I'd like to change table." And he was just like, "Why? No one else has asked to change table. Like, what's up?" Um, I guess we'll take this for now. <laughs> And he just straight up said, I don't like these people. They're not very nice <laughs> in front of the entire class. And oh, I don't know. Even though it was only a small moment, it was only a small thing. I just loved that these fucking, these people that no one really liked just got called out in front of everyone as just not nice people. <laughs> like no one else, even people that were sat on tables they might not want to be on, got um got called out like that. Okay, I'd rather take matchbook just because we're going to get health and bombs for that. Uh, and then we'll pop that. <clears throat> Sadly, nothing we need. We'll go down to the uh, downpour here, though. I like checking out the downpour every now and again. Uh, and yeah, it was just one of my favorite moments. Just absolutely earning him. Also, another one which is less of a singular moment and more of like a, a lesson that I really enjoyed is <clears throat> I really enjoyed PE, physical education, because I was terrible at it. And so were my friends. And the teachers knew about that. And they only really cared about the jocks. So every lesson, <clears throat> as, at, at least the lessons that were uh, held outdoors, because we had a few different courses and stuff. Keep them to pause to clear my throat. I, so, I, I apologize. Um, but yeah, um, all of those lessons that were outside, we didn't have to attend the class at all. We just got to go out on the field and do whatever we wanted. So we'd, we'd, we'd usually like go to like the little basketball court or go to like the edge of the field and just hang out for like an hour. And it was great. It was just so, such a fun lesson for us because we knew that basically it was like an extra like free period for us where we could just do whatever we liked which at least, like in terms of um a, a pro for the education system pretty pretty awful i'd say for the education system a pretty big bummer because <laughs> we didn't do anything but for my enjoyment of school very good because like i said it was because me and my friends were all the nerdy bunch all of us got to do the same thing all of us got it off 
Yeah, let's try and use the car a little more to, to break some rocks and stuff. Also, we should be using this more often. Okay, so there's the chance to just di disregard all of them, which I actually imagine on some rooms could be useful in itself. Whoa, what the hell's this guy doing? Oh, God. He fires, like, a line of tears at me. And he sucks them back in. Okay, okay. We get you. We get you. Um, that could be secret room. It's not, unfortunately. That's okay. We take a risk. Sometimes it doesn't pay off. Let's try and find an item room. I really like the music on this floor. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Ooh, so we've got a new item here. Imp Soda. Luck affected chance to shoot critical uh, tiers that deal quadruple damage. Hell yes. Imp Soda sounds really good. I like the little purple sort of pinky glow that it gives us too. That'll probably be an item that we that we stick with for a while here. Oh damn, okay. Um, That was a good chance to fire those crit shots there. Also, quadruple damage is kind of insane. Okay, good. Oh, something hit me there. I think a little fella got near me. Uh, GMO Corn, you are immobilized and forced to consume seven random pills. Plus one max heart, plus one damage. Okay, let's just take it. Interesting. We got some sort of serpent thing here. Tears leave oil creep upon impact. Uh, walking over the oil will ignite it. That sounds really cool. I want to take that. Ooh. I wonder if this synergizes with a car at all. Maybe. Anyways, let's head down to the next floor. We don't have um, we don't have any reason to go to the mines right now. Although we could pop, could pop back there if we wanted to. Excuse me, Proptosis boy. So we want to like leave these oil patches around and then walk over them to ignite them. Oh, that was dumb. I mean, we got an item out of it, so it's not super dumb, but it still wasn't a good use of my time. What the hell was that explosive then? Okay, we're not getting a ton of good grid objects so far. We're really looking for like golden poops and stuff, really. Also, I don't really know what GMO corn ended up doing for us. I mean, I might as well start taking pills now. Okay. I like the way you can re-roll stuff into like uh, spikes and stuff now. So much better than it used to be. Still no keys. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't exactly say it's a it's a great item. Oh, I love these imps looking things. But it's, it's pretty decent. Oh, that was a good shot. It's a very good trinket as well. We'll take that. We shall take it. Still no key. Oh, there you go. <laughs> right on time. Oh, infestation two. Hell yes. I think we'll get rid of this. Holy. <laughs> In a room like that, it's pretty crazy to re-roll everything. Health is now looking particularly pretty awful. We do have to be a little... A little cautious of that fact. I'm hoping we can get some good luck upgrades. Which are going to give us higher crit chances. I don't know where the crits cap out at, so we're a bit... We're a bit in the dark in that regard. Ooh, this is good too. We'll take this. Um, Oh, wait. That... Turned into something else. What the hell? Um, reveals the boss room on the map. The boss room exit door is replaced with the door to the treasure room after clearing. Okay. That, that is really good. I don't think we need it right now. But that is really good. That's a trinket I could consider using quite a lot. Got that crit there. Ooh, I did not realize the cart could destroy doors too. It didn't allow it to skip rooms or get back into a, get back out like back out of a room sort of thing. 
don't know what that guy does. Okay, he splits into a lot of explosive boys is what he does. I really like it the way it re-rolls them into like these dice blocks. Really cool. Ah, oh, I wish I'd have saved it for this though. I'm just lighting up as many fires as I can here so when he comes my way I've got uh, a little bit of damage on him already. That actually did a lot of damage, okay. You can set up some good traps for bosses. Noted. And we get speed up, or I think foul gut's probably going to be the way to go here. Um, I think we get rid of that. Yeah, foul gut's very good for us here. Um, do we do we go back and do some other rooms? Let's try it. We'll try and find secret room. I've not really been looking for secret rooms that much recently. I really should look at them more. Yeah, another another good um, sort of I won't say yeah another sort of good memory that, that I always found to be like a. A really good moment during school was um i did cookery class with my friends and there was just this one there was this one class that we all did um one day where i don't know what happened but everyone's what is going on with that dude everyone's cooking just went horribly horribly wrong like we we were all like reasonably competent cooks at this time we'd, we'd been into the class multiple times and we're doing okay but then i don't know this one class we just all failed so terribly to make anything happen like one person set their pan on fire because they left a bunch of oil burning by accident i um i like i can't remember what i did now i think i like put the oven on too high and like burnt the pie i was making my friend was like boiling potatoes and forgot to put a lid on top of them and so he spent like 40 minutes boiling two potatoes and like it didn't do anything <laughs> um <laughs> it was it was just a strange class where for some reason this one time we all just did something terribly wrong and either either ruined oh wait what that room never that room never classed is finished what's going on here what the hell this room says it's not finished but it is i'm confused at what's going on with that room but there you go we'll leave that as it is um, ooh, Clairvoyance removes this, removes floor curses. That's a really good pill. I'll definitely take that. I like that quite a lot, I have to say. And yeah, I gotta say, it was just one of those funny moments where we were just like, what the hell happened here? <laughs> and the teacher was very much the same, because it wasn't after school one, but obviously we were younger, so you did have to have a teacher there with you. And they were like, how did this happen? Where did we get all these poops from? I do not know. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the mines, you know. I realize it's going to cost us some bombs, but I really want to have have a room where we see a lot of different enemies and a lot of different floors. Here we go. And if we get a curse, we can just remove it. Unless it's XL. That doesn't really remove, does it? Okay, no curse this time around. Good to know. Still haven't got anything, like, good from re-rolling yet. Like, obviously, D12, it's not a guarantee that you're going to get good stuff, but... I, I was hoping we'd get something. I'm not sure what to think of this guy. Removing entities a lot more than we're uh, creating them, to be honest. Okay. We've not really had to deal with these big boys before, so let's be careful. I really like having these new types of grimaces and stuff. It's really cool. Not really going our way, is it? I'll check this out. We do have the greed shop thing going on where we still get the shop at the end of the tunnel. Um, ooh, blue map, okay. I think I'm gonna go with blue map and I think I'm gonna switch it for GMO caught. Wait, no, um, I probably wanna trip, trip it for, swap it for the tooth, right? Blue map. Then we can buy a key as well here. We lost a little bit of damage for that. But I think able to find our secret rooms is going to be really good. And I also just want to test out to see if the cart can actually open them. I'm fairly sure it can't. But I feel like I owe it to myself to try. I mean, I've buggered this up already. This is going to be rather tricky to test, isn't it? This is probably not the right room to be testing this in. Right, let's not test it in this room. It's not working. I need, I need a straight shot at it, really.
Yeah, it doesn't seem to. That hit pretty much dead on. Does it destroy these guys, though? No, it does not. Good to know. Yeah, I think our damage doesn't matter too much with the amount of flies and spiders we're getting here. I'm not quite sure where all the flies are coming from, I'll be honest. Oh, it's from all the rotten hearts, isn't it? Good combination, actually. Infestation 2 and all these rotten hearts. Hey, that's kind of nice. Interesting little room there, like that. Check what we're going on in here. Got some enemies. Not too bad enemies, to be fair. Beautiful. I really like the visuals on some of the new crawl spaces there. They're cool. Yeah, the amount of flies and spiders we have right now is, frankly, quite insane. Okay, what we got going on here? A rotten heart there. The rusted key? Oh, it's just a resprited rusted key. And for some reason, I've re I read it and still considered it a new item. And I was like, oh, wait, no. That's just a normal item that's been resprited. Don't be a fool. Got a bomb and some fool's gold rocks here. Rather nice. Right, boss time. We have, Actually, we still haven't found an item room. Damn. It's a shame when that happens, when you go all the way back and then realise. But then again... We got a full card here. Saves us some time at least. Oh damn. <laughs> For some reason I was not expecting that. Yeah, the D12 hasn't been super great for us so far. We probably would have been better off taking Continuum, but... Oh well. It's a bit of fun. It's a new item. I'm really liking the crits though. I just want to get some... Uh, get some higher looks so we can make use of them. What we got here? Uh, we got the Nightshade. Um, we got Dead Onion. Dead Onion's really good for the piercing, but our shot speed is already quite low. Um, I think we take take Nightshade over Foul Gut. PhD would have been good as well. Just because Nightshade can give us some nice homing and stuff. A nice amount of Fool's Gold Rocks. That's, that's actually thanks to a mod that I'm using that increases the amount of Fool's Gold Rocks that are in the mines. To give us an extra reason to go to these floors, it's one of the reasons I considered coming to this floor. And it's definitely paid off. Obviously, it's kind of a good trade-off, because it's like, you have to go to this floor, which is generally a little bit harder, but also you need the bombs and abilities to actually clear them um, and destroy them. So it's not all just, it's not free. It's not just always better money. So here, I'm just going to sit right here and try and use this holy poop. This is the best thing we've got so far. I do want to quickly take out this rock here so we get a little bit more usage out of it. Come close to me, I dare you. Corn poops there. There's a corn poop over here that we have to destroy, unfortunately. Pain in the ass. Yeah, look at all these wisps we got protecting us now from Nightshade. Nightshade's so strong. Just for protection. Flat one damage up or binky for tears up. Um, Let's go with... Binky, I think. Yeah, Jar of Air, we do lose the three flies. Oh, no, we still have the three flies. Wait a minute. Can I glitch this? Please tell me. No, I can't. I had to check. Right, what we got here? Eye of the Occult is very, very good. Um, although, I don't know what I'd swap it for at this point in time. GMO coin? Co G no, let, let's take let's take Death Scythes for GMO corn. We lose a bit of damage, but we gain a bit back. So I think that's gonna be I think that's gonna be the best thing for us, really. Okay. Let's Vamoosh. Um if we go back and grab that. Yeah, I wanna go down to the mausoleum here. Not for any particular reason other than just I like the mausoleum on on uh thingy. Also I wanna show off the split mausoleum mod, which is pretty cool. 
Curse of Darkness here. Oh, we forgot to bring our pill back. Ooh, what the hell are these guys? Whoa, look at these. Oh my god, they kind of remind me of the, um, of the enemies from Nuclear Throne a little bit. Well, that kind of happened. And we got Tiny Turma, a hey, adding on to the spider and fly theme that we've got going on right now. We have lost a lot of our rotten hearts just from trading them away or whatnot. We're not as crazy on that right now. Oh, all these raining, raining rocks we got there. I'm not quite sure what this poop does, by the way. I kind of want to lay, like, walk into it. Okay, I think it's just the fear effect it is, yeah. Okay, things are getting a bit saucy. Luckily, we've got a lot of protection from projectiles, to be honest. Like, a lot. That doesn't bother us too much. The music on this floor, by the way, is insanely good. <laughs> Insanely, insanely good. Why do we keep having rooms where it says we haven't finished them? Like, this room has clearly been finished. But it says that it, says that it hasn't been cleared on the map. That might be a minimap API bug, maybe. Okay, I got a crit on that guy straight away. Cause, so the, the, the crows, dude, seems like you basically want to kill them before they start flying. Because you can't hit them while they're flying. But they do land eventually. But they're not very deadly when they've landed. They're only deadly when they're in the air. You've kind of got to be on it with them, really. Hey, golden poop there. Nice. We're looking for golden poops and holy poops, really. Not that we need the money too much, but still. Arcade here, rather nice. I love the music in the arcade in this mod as well. Not that we really need to use the arcade too much. That one room, but with rock chests, but edited to be simpler for all those new Repentance waves. Okay. That is quite the room name. That's one thing that's quite impressive, by the way. I made a room mod that uh, that had like 100 plus secret rooms in it, and then another one with another 100. And I didn't name the rooms anything. I just, I just gave them bogus names, which were just like copy and pastes. These guys gave like legit names to every room. I don't even know how they... The, like, thought of, of funny room names for everything. It's just crazy how much effort they put into even just the room names. Considering there's, like, 45k rooms in this mod, and I made 200 and didn't have any ideas, and they've made 45,000 and all of them have some sort of name. Like, that's pretty impressive. Hey, okay, so we can go over. Let's let's first of all finish this floor. Uh, we'll, we'll drop a bomb here and... We got a black heart, actually. Okay, slightly hard room here. Lost the black heart already. So there's that item room. Ooh, what's this guy doing? Okay, whoa. He, like, kills the enemies in the room. He's, like, like using a little doll. We got, like, a donut head here as well. Able or 120 volt. We do have a spin down shard there. Spin down into ice. Or let's... I don't know. Do we want to... I don't really know if we want uh, ice or a 120 volt, to be honest. Let's just see what we get here. We got baby... Baby crater. Whilst you're shooting, baby crater creates a circle of tears similar to the... Enemy crate face. Um, uh, we th I think we've had this guy before. He's decent, but he's he's not the best for us right now. I think we're pretty good with what we've got going on. I really like that enemy. That's a really cool enemy. I always like enemies that get, that don't do anything to you directly, but they like change the dynamic of how our room works. And they change the dynamic of who you've got to focus on. Ooh, one thing I do need to change, by the way, that I keep forgetting to change. If I just quickly go here and um, go over to, I think it's on here. Hallway Greed. There it is. Always, um, Hallway Greed only on Depth 2 and Excel. 
Yeah, that, that's that's what I want. Just because otherwise it's a little strong. Ooh, the grappling hook. Um, damn. There's also a Trisagian here, which is pretty awesome. Grappling hook. Throw us a hook that can uh, be useful to travel. It can be used to climb uh, onto rocks. The player can take fall damage into pits. I think I'm going to have to glass spin down and buy Trisagian, though. It's a lot of fun. I don't know what I'd trade it for, though. Maybe Blue Map. Blue Map is good, but Trisagian could be more fun. Let's give it a go. I just think that, like, the crits might go a bit more wild with this, maybe. You know? Hello there, gambling man. Um, we will wager 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 coins on you, and we'll play you. And we lost. <laughs> I will now wager 1 bomb and 5 coins. Hey, we won. Thank you. So you get your original amount back and then some extra. I think that I think that's a really cool uh, NPC beggar type. A little fun mini game to play. I'm looking forward to some of the uh, additions that Revelations will make as well when that gets added. I don't know, like, I don't know when Revelations is planned to be coming, but I have no idea what its compatibility is going to be like with um, with Fiend. I don't know if they plan to make it compatible, uh, compatible with Fiend Folio, because that's going to be insane if they do. I kind of hope they do, but I'm not going to hold it against them if they don't, because it's, it's, it's just a lot of work. But yeah, we are now on to the other side. Haha, this makes that room a lot easier. A hell of a lot easier, in fact. Okay, we've got some Crow Boys. Let's take out the poop if we can. Oh, the feather almost got me. Hey, I like that crit. Yeah, the fact that it can re-roll like the, the stone wall pieces as well. I think we get an additional shop, don't we? Through here. Is that a tinted rock there as well? I think it is. It was. Oh, look at that look at that fool's gold rock there. That's really cool. <laughs> that crit immediately there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa, look at you, little fella. They're really cool. I guess we've got an additional shop here. In which I think I probably will take Mum's box here, because the D12 has been good, but not not great. Ooh, 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 the cork. Does the cork have... I'm guessing it works with doubling effects, but that makes our creep bigger, right? And we're firing creep that, that spawns the fires. Yes, it does work, which should, should mean it's easier to ignite. So I think you can get an extra shop or an extra item room this time we got an extra shop. It's also going to make Mother Runs a bit more fun as well, if the Mausoleums like this on Mother... Uh, not Mother Runs, sorry. I mean, it is going to make Mother Runs more fun, but I meant to say um, Beast Runs. Because, of course, you go to the Mausoleum every Beast Run. That's a little bit extra. It's going to be quite nice. Okay, through we go. Ah. Let's go fight. This is only the first boss of Mausoleum. Mausoleum does take a little bit longer now. That's kind of the trade-off. You get the extra power if you want to spend the time. But it is going to mean you have to spend the extra time. Yeah, look at those creep puddles. That's going to make it so much easier to ignite our fires. Ow. Tricky bastard you are. I think I'm just going to take the box and see what it drops. 
and we'll take the stars card down to the next floor and twiddle on. Mum's eye, we don't have any good luck, so let's not take that. We got what the hell do we get here? Heart of China. Overhealing charges a special health bar. Filling this health bar grants an empty heart, um, an empty heaty container. I'm guessing that's meant to be heart container. Um, the number of hearts in the special bar scales with how many hearts you have. The special health bar can be viewed by standing near uh, health that will be overhealed or by viewing your map. That sounds really interesting. I'm going to take it over this. No, I'm going to take it over the, the cart. The cart's been good to us, but this is better. I, I'm interested to see how this works. I mean, we're not going to be overhealing yet, so I think for right now it's not going to do much. It's good that it does that little crow sound right at the start of the room. And I like the way they, like, start off perched on top of, um, blocks. I think that's really cool. Really does remind me of the nuclear throwing enemies. I wonder if there's any inspiration taken there. I think another good thing, by the way, about Trisag is that we're producing creep a lot better. So if I fire over this, you can see it kind of produces the creep around it. It's, it's a better way of doing it, I think. Smelter? Oh, I took the... F uh, I really wanted to just smelt that one trinket because then I could carry another. That was very frustrating. I like that, that chunky sound when you get a crit. It's really satisfying. So one thing I do want to quickly check out is... Do we... Um, do we get another alternate mausoleum floor on this as well? Oh, we got the, the the scary ghost. Yeah, luckily, one of the when the other enemies dies, he perishes too. It's a shame it doesn't make the fires any bigger with lost cork, or whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it, but still, it's nice. It at least makes them easier to ignite, which I really like. Saves us some time. Holy. Some of these enemies are like, nah, you don't you don't fuck with these enemies before clearing out the uh, invincible dudes, otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. Do you remember the crits only deal quad damage, it's not gonna be an insta-kill. Okay, we do get an alternate floor here as well. I walked right into that creep. We're not going to get any overheals anytime soon. I like where they have some sort of associated cost to get to the uh, alt floor. It's a nice addition as well to make it not as overpowered. Obviously the cost isn't high, but I still like that. This here is a, is a door that doesn't lead anywhere. Which makes me believe that'll lead to an error room. So let's be careful about that. I had that in a Nuzlocke recently. And it screwed me over a bit. So let's uh, not go that way yet. Oh. I say it and then I accidentally do it. I spawned another one of them. That's a, maybe a bit of a bug. Uh, I'm going to get rid of... I think I'm going to get rid of Binky for Holy Light. And then... Honestly, the China Heart's cool, but we're never going to overheal, I'll be honest. So we'll take uh, Euthanasia here over the China Heart. And we got a card here. Misprinted Joker. Reroll's items um, in the room. Ooh, into items. Ooh, we can definitely use that right now then. We got Soy Milk and Immaculate Heart. I think I want both of those, I'll be honest. So let's go with Soy Milk over... Also, we got this, whatever this is. Hitbox size is reduced and uh, indicated by a marker. Uh, grants 0 0.2 damage for the current room for narrowly avoiding a projectile. Uh, capped at plus 3 damage, luck affected chance to fire a tier with 1.25 damage and aggressive homing. I'd still rather have soy milk in this case. And then I think Immaculate Heart over... This is tough. This is really tough. Um, maybe over this because we've already got piercing. Yes. I'm happy with that. 
Unfortunately, we biffed it with the error room. We've got to remember that for next time, I guess. We weren't going to go to Mother anyway because we don't have the knife pieces, so... That's kind of fine. <laughs> Just means we miss out on a few things on that floor. But we got items from there anyways. But yeah, basically, Holy Light plus Crits plus um, Euthanasia seems like a really good soy milk setup. And oh my, oh my, am I correct. And also, this is another thing I wanted as well. You can see that the fire just covers everything. Because we're, we're hitting the floor so many times here that we just create this, this spread of fire. I mean, it's pretty a joke. It seems like a really good card. A bit situational for when it's going to be super useful because you need more than one item in the room. But still seems good. Yeah, we're going to be creating fires absolutely everywhere. And Euthanasia is going to be killing stuff every now and again as well. You can see the crits are going off like crazy too. And at the end, I took a Mortal Heart. For one, because it gives us HP, but for two, the extra bit of damage plus um, the, the, the thought of shots that orbit around us are quite nice. Look at that fire. Oh my god. The crits, the crits with a heavy knockback are quite funny. Just knock enemies flying. I love soy milk for, for this reason. Like, it's not good on its own. The damage it's dealing is pretty pathetic. But it just enables tier effects to pop the hell off. And I love that. Like, Holy Light's doing a good job, but Euthanasia comes in every now and again and clutches up. Obviously, health is not great right now, but let's not let's not think about that. And then, obviously, crits are only dealing four times damage, so they're not insane. But when you're getting this many of them, it stacks up. It becomes something quite that's, that's a bit more relevant. Probably more relevant than it was when we didn't have soy milk. Oh, look at that fire. <laughs> Yeah, that's another thing as well. The fire damage is static. That's not affected by our damage multiplier. So when we're spreading so much extra fire than stepping in it, it's 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 very beneficial to us. So that's a really fun devil item. Changes the way you play a little bit as well because it means you have to kind of move over where you shoot or where you hit to take full advantage and then kind of guide the enemies into that. Obviously, you don't have to do that, but to take full advantage of the damage is the best way to do it. These guys are throwing stuff at me. I like the way as well with soy milk, it links up all of the... Well, sorry, with soy milk. With, with the cork, it links up all of the patches so I can set off one fire that sets off multiple fires sort of thing. Whereas before, they weren't really linked. There you go. You should take quite a lot of fire damage now. I love all the holy lights you can hear going off as well. Like, you can see the damage isn't insane, but it's just more fun. It's just a whole lot more fun. And the crits. Just like, crit, 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 crit. I think for room clearing, it's better. For normal boss rooms, it's not as good. Ooh, it's um, Champion Krampus. Champus. Good old Champus. Head of Krampus isn't the one we wanted really there. Right. Um, well, considering we didn't take either the Polaroid or the negative, which is one really annoying thing about that, well, I guess we just go down and we'll, we'll see. Oh my god, that room got annihilated. I love the music on this floor. So good. Sticks in your head, this one. 
I don't know, it sounds like it sounds like vaguely evil without sounding like fully evil. I don't know. I don't know how to really describe what I'm talking about. Oh, look at that holy light. Fishtail is really good, but the cork, the cork is my true love. It's not, it's not often that you get a run that allows you to use the cork effectively. So when you get it, you have to hold it dear. Who, who is this? What is this? Is this a mini boss? Oh, this is a mini boss. This is a new mini boss. Hello. He is firing some evil stuff. What the hell? He is also taking zero damage and doing a lot to me. Interesting. So I think we kill we kill the enemies he spawns and that deals damage to him, by the looks of it. Oh god, I'm taking so much damage here. Okay, we got him, we got him. Oh, he gave us an item. He gave us Goat Head. I mean, not super useful for us, but thank you. We definitely need some HP here. Gotta remember as well, Satan is Satan is tougher than normal. Oh, these are cool enemies as well. They go invisible. Let's get some fire going. There you go. Dive up into the sky. Oh damn. He didn't do what I wanted him to. We are two hits away from death. Oh, we got a gold one. We are one hit away from death. We are dead. <laughs> Either way, that was a very fun run nonetheless. Considering we didn't get the polar or negative, I really don't mind. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.